In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to transition from a film section that you've made into a cartoonish type graphic back to the original look and feel like what you see on the screen. In order to show you what that looks like, please pay attention to the following very short clip. Now let's show you how we did this. The first thing I did was I took my clip and I brought it down to my timeline on track number one. I'm going to highlight it and then click on my effects room. That's my F4 key on the keyboard. Now what you can do will vary a little bit with the kinds of effects that you have in your particular copy of CyberLink PowerDirector. But we're going to work on a couple of them here. I'm going to take this BCC RGB pixel noise and drag and drop it onto my clip. And then I'm going to the, go to the effect button above and this will allow me uh, to adjust the characteristics of this particular effect. And if I move over here, I see the whole screen. So I'm going to just knock the percentage a little bit higher, make it even grainier yet. And we'll go up to about here. And I can just close it like this. Then we're going to take another effect. I'm going to use one that is called the pen ink effect. And I believe this is in most copies of PowerDirector. I click over here. And I'll take and drag and drop that on the track. And now I'll go ahead and click on Effect. Now the pen ink is lower than the pixel noise. I want to change the order. That's what these up and down arrows are. Watch what happens when I press the down arrow. It changed it quite a bit. Okay, so I want my pen ink to be above my RGB pixel noise. And then I want to take the blackness here. I'm going to make it look less like a picture and more like a drawing. And I'll knock it up almost, almost maximum here. And then I'm done with that one. Now, if you happen to put an effect in experimenting with what you have in your system, and you're not so sure that you want to keep it, uh, how do you do it? How do you put it on and how do you undo it? Let's just take the Posturize for fun and drag and drop it on the track. And then I want to click on my effect tab. Now I have my posturize effect. And I really don't think that did much one way or the other. So I'm going to remove it. The way to remove any effect is you click on it in the left panel. It'll turn blue. And then you click on the minus key and you just remove the effect. So you can reorder the effects or you can add or uh, remove them at, as much as you want. And you can stack effects like what we've done here. So if, for example, I were wanted to take this uh, refractive blue one and drag and drop that down and then click on the effect button, I can see what I can do with that refractive bubble. Well, I don't think I want that. I don't see anything happening here that's important. So I'll click on it and I'll, I'll remove it again. So you can experiment with as many effects as you have in your effect room in CyberLink PowerDirector. So that's the first step. I've got this, and if I play it, uh, it, will, it will look much different from the original, uh, much more like a cartoon type thing. Now, if I want to transition from one to the other, the only thing I need to do is drag down the second copy of that same clip on video track number two. It will override it. And then with track two selected, uh, I need to double click on it to get into my PIP designer. And when I'm in my PIP designer, I'm going to cha change the opacity settings. I'll move my uh, playhead to the very beginning. And I'm going to set my opacity diamond here. And I'm going to set it at zero. So I want to start at zero. And then let's go to about, um, oh, five seconds. I'll set another keyframe by clicking on the diamond at zero. And then we'll have a short transition, maybe oh, oh, on the course of about three seconds. Let's go to about eight. And then I'll set the opacity up to 100%. So the opacity with the keyframe 
has a value of 0 here all the way through up through here, then all of a sudden it changes. And let's see what happens when we go back and play our clip. I click on movie mode. It starts out somewhat uh, cartoonish. And they're going through the steps here. And then when we get to the right point in time, we find that it's going to start to change. And then it gravitates toward something that's very natural. So that's all you have to do to create that effect and then rotate from one to the other. Of course, we could reverse it and go from this to a cartoonish look. It doesn't really matter. But that's a simple way to achieve a little bit of that effect in CyberLink PowerDirector.